Excel 2016, Module 7, Part 10. This is a very important concept to make sure you understand. We are going to be saving something called a macro enabled workbook. You must save your workbook as macro enabled once you have created a macro in it. If you do not do this correctly, you will lose the macro and it is no longer available in your workbook. Once you lose it, it is gone and the only way to get it back is to redo the recording. So let's get back into our workbook. So we're in the winter workbook. Now I previously have recorded a macro. So if you click on the macro button, you can see that there is a macro attached to this workbook. And if I click run, it will open up a PDF. And then it will return me to cell A1. So you can see I do have a macro in this workbook. If I click to save this workbook, you're going to see this error message. And many people just get in the habit of not reading the screen and clicking yes. Yes, I want to save. Yes is the wrong answer. You're going to lose your macro if you say yes. Read the screen carefully. It says, wait, we have a VB project. VB stands for Visual Basic, which is a programming language. And you're going to see in a minute that that is what is being used to create your macro. To save a file with these features, click No and then choose a macro enabled file type in the file type list. It says to continue saving as macro free workbook, click yes. If you click yes, you are creating a macro free workbook and your macro will be deleted. The reason Excel or Microsoft does this is because VB programming can be attached to a workbook in the form of malware or viruses. And so this is one way that they could, you know, um, send out malware. So in order to protect us, they give us this warning. Now, wait a minute, you have a, a workbook here that's got a VB project in it. If that's not what you intended, continue and save it as macro free. And if a file comes in as a macro free workbook and there you try to open it, it's not gonna open a macro. So if somebody tried to attach something to a macro or a macro free workbook, it wouldn't attach. If someone sends out a workbook that is macro enabled and it has macros in it, if I get that from someone and I'm not expecting it to have macros, then I don't open it. I don't enable those macros until I know for sure am I looking at legitimate macros that somebody created for me. I have a software vendor I work with. When they send out their price list, it has macros in it. I get the option, do I want to enable those macros or not? Okay, if it's a trusted vendor, 
I've worked with them for many, many years. Yes, I can enable those macros and feel safe about it. But if my friend sends me a workbook, and I'm not expecting macros to be in it, I might contact them before I enable the macros and make sure they're not some sort of a virus. So in this case, I need to say no. And when I do that, it opens up this save as window. You want to pay attention to a couple different things. First of all, your location. Second of all, down here, the second option, the save as type. Click that drop down arrow and notice you have an option here that says macro enabled workbook, which is going to end in .xlsm instead of .xlsx. So I'm going to choose this. Now this is going to become macro enabled. Notice the extension changed in the file name. If you do not save it macro enabled so that this extension changes you will lose your macros. Okay, so now we're going to close this workbook. And I am going to go back to where it was. And notice now I have another workbook. It has a slightly different picture. And it has a different extension. When I open this up, it comes up with a security warning. And it tells me that the macros have been in, um, disabled. Okay, so let's say I tried to, mark, to run the macro. So I did Control R to activate it. Can you notice nothing happens? If I went to the developer tab and I went to macros and I said run, oh, it says nope, you can't do that. You didn't enable the macros. Okay, so unless you actually enable those macros, they will not work. So you need to be really careful about that when you open these files. The first thing you need to do is pay attention to this security warning. And if you want to use the macros, you have to enable the content. Once you have enabled the content, now control R, you can see it actually did something. And then it came back here and gave me the PDF. So you can see the macro is attached and working in this file. If you had not saved it, XLSM, and it was still your XLSX, you would have lost your macro, and there's no way to get it back. You have to re-record it. We will get into creating another macro in the next segment, and then we will look at how we can edit those macros.